In this video, I am going to give you a free way to do one of the best things that Ahrefs does, which is give you the keywords from a specific page on Google. Now, it's widely believed that one of the only ways to see a specific article's traffic or a specific article's keywords is to use Ahrefs. So let's do a couple of examples. Right here, are Hugo Boss suits good? You click here and you press organic keywords and it'll give you a list of keywords that you can then use to write your own article, whether that be using ChatGPT or writing it yourselves, okay? So currently, this is what most people do. They pay $120 or $89 a month to get this kind of information. Now, what I want to show you in this video is that there is a free alternative to Ahrefs that doesn't make you pay anything whatsoever. You do need a payment method, you do need an email, etc. And that is, of course, Google Ads Keyword Planner. As a lot of you may or may not know, I absolutely love Google Ads Keyword Planner. But what I've recently been doing is using it to spy on other people's websites. So the way that we do this is we press start with a website right here. And the first thing you can do is you can take your main competitor's website and you can put it into this and this is already just a really good keyword method on its own but i have talked about this a few times but basically yeah this is like one of the main ways that i'm now finding keywords i love this keyword method so there's a couple of ways you can do this you can either sort it by average monthly searches go for the big keywords i don't know if that's necessarily recommended for a fresh domain website what's maybe better is doing sort by three month change and then scrolling a little bit down to the ones that are not infinite. So what I mean by that is, as you can see, a lot of these are infinite, okay? What I tend to do is I scroll past the infinite ones and I go to something like this, okay? Men's fall tops, men's fall trends, fall clothes for men, fall male outfits. These are all really, really good keywords, although obviously I'm taking them from my own website. But you can kind of see where a lot of the traffic is coming from, from two men. It's kind of this trending seasonal traffic okay and a lot of these keywords i don't even recognize so i mean we're probably not ranking very well for a lot of these but this is just a really really good way to look for trending things as well and the the specific for your website because you've taken your main competitor and nobody knows your competitors better than you now let's talk about the other thing that this can do which is find the specific keywords for a specific article so let's say I am a classic menswear business and I want to write an article and I find this is my competitor and this is ranking well on Google. You can do that by doing searches. You don't have to pay for Ahrefs again. You can just do searches for various keywords. But first of all, we need to find those keywords. So again, we're going to click here and we're going to do control V and we're going to press use only this page and then we're going to press get results. Again, this will give you the main keywords, but this time specifically for that blog post. So first of all, this tells me one thing, that this article is probably gonna do pretty well in the future if I can build some authority to it. The second thing it tells me is I can steal all of this, uh, key, all of this traffic by writing a better article. So the first thing I would check is I would see the total traffic potential of the article, which is just up here. And it should say hide charts if you don't have it available. So just make sure you have chart turned on. So if you think about this process logically, the first thing you can do is use your competitor's website on Google Ads Keyword Planner. Find a keyword that is good for your business. Google that keyword, find their page, your competitor's page, and then put that on Google Ads Keyword Planner as well. And then just press here, press copy, and then you have all of your competitor's SEO. And what we can actually do is we can put that into ChatGPT. Okay, obviously uh, this is a little bit more complicated than it looks because I do have my custom instructions already set up. Um, I'll leave these in the description just in case people want to copy them. Uh, or I'll just leave the chat history actually and also the custom instructions in the description just in case people want to copy me. But uh, the, the only reason this is working is because I have my custom instructions set up. Okay, just, just to point that out. Then what you can do is you can say something like, can you write an SEO optimized article? Try to use these keywords. And then let's just check the custom instructions real quick just to make sure. 
Yeah, so it looks like it's writing about any topic, which is what we need. And then if I just press go, then it will write an article. And if you think about this from a different perspective, maybe not from the perspective of a, um, a listicle brand guide, you can see how this is, re this is just an amazing way to take your main competitor and take all of their SEO. Everyone has one of those competitors, okay? Ours is GQ, um, who just rank for every single keyword that I would love to rank for, as, as and then some, basically. But, you know, you'll know your own competitors, you'll understand your own market better than I do. So just take your main competitor and study them for free without paying for Ahrefs, okay? This is a super, super good method of writing content. I'll leave everything in the description as usual. You can see it's even written an article specifically about uh, business casual. I don't know if this is in the custom instructions. Wait, let me just double check. Doesn't look like it. So yeah, because the keywords here, a lot of them are about business casual. What ChatGPT has actually done, which is a really good move, I might add, because this article is going to rank a lot better than just an article about best pants brands, okay? Best business casual pants brands is even more specific and it actually has a hell of a lot of searches and a hell of a lot of interest as you can see by the amount of searches. So what Google's, what ChatGPT has actually done is it's taken that into account and it's shaped the article around that. And I'll tell you right now, this is good SEO. This is, this is really, really good SEO. I'm impressed by this. This was not even supposed to be part of this video, but I do find that very, very interesting that it's made that distinction itself which makes me even more confident that this is an amazing way to write content. I will just quickly explain some of my custom instructions just because I don't think I've really gone into this in much detail. So I'll just read through them. If you've already got what you need from this video, then feel free to leave. Thank you for watching, but I'm just gonna quickly go through the custom instructions. You should use short, snappy sentences, sentences and creativity, burstiness and perplexity in all of your responses. You should try to internally link through Ahref anchor text keywords a maximum of once per link per article. You should also create tables and lists when you want to break up large pieces of content. You are writing for twomen.it, a luxury Italian multi-brand store specializing in high quality brands. These are my brands. When you mention one, you should write slash collections and then the brand name and also the product name with the S on the end. For example, kit on jeans would be slash collections slash kit on jeans. These are all of my brands plus products. This is such a good way for me personally to write content. And you can do this for any business. If you're a freelance writer, you can input all of your all of the business's details that you are writing for. If you're writing for a different business, you can make them work for your website, provided you have a decent URL structure, et cetera, et cetera. I do have videos coming on this. I just wanted to quickly mention my custom instructions because it's really, really important to this process. Respond in Markdown. Write fully formatted articles that can be copied and pasted directly into a CMS. Uh, content management system like WordPress, for example, Shopify, and that will then rank on Google. Give your opinion on topics, but make sure to remain fairly neutral. Give real life examples occasionally. Every few paragraphs respond with a list or a table. Use each internal link a maximum of once. Add 10 internal links total. However, a brand internal link should always be used. Only select brands and products that are relevant to this article. Make sure to create tables and lists to break up water text. Okay, so the last part of this process is you literally just press copy right here and then go to mark down to HTML, control A, control V, and then you have a fully formatted, ready to go article. What I personally do is I press raw HTML, control A, control C, and then I directly paste this into the Shopify HTML section or the Magento HTML section, or I think just directly into WordPress also works. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.